Significant figures in measurements. Imagine that I want to record the length of this paperclip using a ruler. What number exactly should I record? 5 centimeters, 5.1 centimeters, 5.07 centimeters, 5.073218 centimeters? The answer is it depends. It depends on the precision of the instrument that you are using. I want to teach you how to use any instrument and record a measured quantity so that it has the correct number of significant figures. There are two rules that I need to teach you. There is a rule for a digital readout on your instrument. There's a rule for analog readout on your instrument. These two rules will work for any instrument, whether it's something simple like a ruler or whether it's the most expensive and advanced instrumentation we have ever created. I also want to go over the specific example of measuring the volume of a liquid in a graduated cylinder so that you know how to deal with the meniscus. This is what our two rules have in common. The last significant digit is always an estimate. Always assume that the last significant digit is plus or minus one, unless specified otherwise. Here are two examples. If I record a value of 4.2 centimeters, the last significant digit is this two in the tenths place, and it is plus or minus one. That means 4.2 centimeters, the actual quantity, is anywhere in the range of 4.1 to 4.3 centimeters. Second example, 7,300 liters. The last significant digit is the three in this one hundredths place. It is plus or minus one. So a measured quantity of 7,300 liters, the actual quantity is anywhere in the range of 7,200 to 7,400 liters. The rule for digital readouts is to record the value as is. The instrument is already estimating one more significant figure for you. Your only job is to write that number down exactly the way you see it. So if I'm recording the length of this paperclip using these calipers with a digital readout, I am just writing that number down that I see. In this case, 50.66 millimeters. If your instrument has an analog readout, meaning something like a ruler or a gauge, just not digital, you have to estimate that one additional significant figure by yourself. So this is our rule. Estimate one more digit than there are gradations on the instrument. Let's take a close look at this ruler. The larger lines that are numbered are each one centimeter. The smaller lines between them are each 0.1 centimeters. So the length of my paper clip is somewhere between 5.0 and 5.1 centimeters. I need to estimate one more digit. My estimate might be slightly different than yours. That's why we always assume that that last digit is plus or minus one. But for the length of this paper clip, I am going to record a length of 5.07 centimeters. I want to give you another example of an analog readout. This is a piece of glassware called a graduated cylinder. It is used to measure the volume of liquids. So it is a tall, narrow glass tube that you put a liquid in and you look at the line where the top of the liquid is. Let's zoom into this region surrounding the top of the liquid so that we can take a closer look. What I want to point out is that this blue line representing where the top of the liquid is. It is not a flat line, it is curved. That curve is called a meniscus. The reason that this happens is that this particular liquid is more attracted to the glass than it is to itself. So you see the edges of it start to creep up the glass. This adds a layer of complexity when you are trying to measure the volume of this liquid. You need to measure from the bottom of the meniscus. So if you had this piece of glassware in front of you, you would need to align your eye and look at the bottom of the meniscus straight on. So this is five milliliters, this is six. Each of the smaller lines is 0.1 milliliters. So this line is 5.8 milliliters, this is 5.9. We always need to estimate one more significant figure than there are gradations. So if this is 5.8, this is slightly above 5.8. 5.8 5 
my estimate is going to be 5.83 milliliters. 5.83 milliliters. If you're interested in learning more about significant figures, I have a whole playlist about them. I also have a lot of videos about chemistry in general. Thanks for watching Chemistry in a Nutshell. If you feel that I've earned it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel.